Hey everybody, Maria Boynton here talking to Michael Sterling. You were wanting to be Atlanta's 60th mayor. What happened? Well, you know, the want didn't go there, but the voters get to decide who becomes the next mayor. And it became clear to me that we didn't have a path to victory, Maria. And so what I wanted to do is make sure uh, uh, that I gave people a, a choice between folks who actually had a chance to win. Now, when you say you did not have a path to victory, now, what all went into you determining that? We looked at all of the numbers. You know, we had been trying some very non-traditional methods to reach out to people who normally don't vote in the mayor's race. Unfortunately, in Atlanta, only about 27 to 30 percent of people show up to vote in the mayor's race. And so we were really trying very hard to reach out to people who didn't normally engage in the mayor's race. Uh, and as we kept trying to reach out to them, we were running out of money. Mm -hmm. uh, and so and, and we weren't hitting the voters we needed to hit enough times to get them to the polls. And so when we realized that we weren't going to have the resources to get those voters to the polls, we made a calculated decision that we just weren't going to have enough votes to win the election. When you talk resources, about how much would you say it would take to run a winning campaign for mayor of Atlanta? I think anybody who's raised somewhere between 700000 and above has an opportunity to, uh, to run a winning campaign. And what is it that Atlanta needs in a mayor? We need a mayor who's going to be concerned about leaving nobody behind in our city. We've got the most unequal city in America. We've got an HIV AIDS epidemic. Uh, we've got 80% of African American children who live in poverty. Kids are not getting access to the quality education they need while politicians are fighting our education system. And so we need a mayor who's going to bring people together.